Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to install uh, the M uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Google Map Replacement. Uh, there was just a recent update on this, so uh, I actually just uh, for the sake I actually have to reinstall it anyway since it's a new update. I was running 3.01, I believe it was, and it's now 3.22, 2.2. So we're going to go through the install together. It's very simple. All you have to do is have a login to get into this website, which I'll, uh, is flightsim.to. Uh, I'll have this link in the, the description below going through um, so you can actually be able to get to here a lot faster without having to go through the website it's specifically for this. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and extract this, uh, this, this zip file that I downloaded along with it. So we're going to go ahead and then browse the two oops, desktop dump it on my desktop select all right extracting so that pops up now this is the install right here so what it's gonna do it'll come up saying uh, with this at least my computer will come up with this uh, more info and run anyway and then you should have a safety screen pop up do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to be made uh, to make changes to your devices the uh, device just hit yes, it should be, it's fine. Uh, and then here's the setup screen. You just click install, let it click where it, uh, well, install where it wants to, default by default. So once this is in, it should come, it shouldn't take long. And there it is. And then just hit finish and then uh, have it checked and run. It's going to have another screen come up. Do you want to allow this app from an uh, unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And hit yes. And there you are. Uh, th this is the updated version. And all you need to know really is I'm still exploring this end of it, but it, it's straightforward. It actually explains everything. Um, but we really want you to, if you want to implement or uh, input the Google Maps, all you have to do is hit that. Wait for these servers to do their checklist or the ch access checks. Once they come up all green check marks, you are good to go. It is online, and there it is. It actually is already picking stuff up, even though I'm not even in Flight Simulator yet. But yeah, there's the cache. You can uh, reset. Uh, definitely, I haven't had any issues. Map servers. These are different servers. Uh, so I, I'm still exploring on what what these are. But all you really need to do is probably stick with the like. Probably the default would be fine. Proxy. Not exactly sure what this is used for. Uh, I mean, it. I haven't used it at all, and I don't think it's really necessary unless you have. If you want to do something pretty specific, like through ports, uh, and I really don't use that. But yeah, this is. Uh, and then uh, let, let me jump now into the flight sim and show you the differences between uh, when there is it's the Bing map and the Google Maps. So I will be right back. All right, before we get actually into the flight, uh, we want to do one more thing, and that is go to Options, General Options, go to Data, and then you want to go to the bottom and turn off Rolling Cache and delete the cache that you have in there right now. Uh, what, would happen if, uh, what would happen is that the Google Maps, when it loads in, has the potential of clashing with Bing Map, like, squares or grids so you may get an overlap and it will not look good uh, I've seen it and it doesn't really look appeasing so uh, now we're gonna go to a flight so I'll be right back after that just wanted to give that little short little tidbit of information as well thank you welcome back everyone you're looking at the Google Maps version of this we're right now flying to the Southwest on route US route 33 head north Columbus, Ohio. You can definitely see that they have farm fields all around us uh, I'll fly for a little bit and give you basically a little bit of a run through. I mean I Live in this area, so I'm right now. We're, le we're leaving the airport in uh, Marysville, Ohio Union County uh, One of the counties Union County. Yeah, anyways um, I mean you can see that it, it looks good. I like that it really does look good with the Google Maps. Of course, though, you haven't looked at Bing yet. Bing will be the last one. I should have done the Bing first, honestly. Oh, well. 
But yeah, this is what it looks like, and it's a, it really it really makes the, it look really good, in my opinion at least. So, uh, I'll give it another probably 30 seconds going th through this, and then I'll switch over to Bing Maps. And welcome back again. We're now flying with the Bing Maps. Google Maps has been taken out. Uh, cleared the rolling data, rolling data again. The rolling cache data. Uh, and this is what it looks like now. It, to me, it looks different. It doesn't look as clean. But, I mean, everyone has their own opinion, of course. Well, yeah, that was a quick tutorial and everything. You can see it loading in ahead. Now, the nice thing about the Google Maps is that they give you a higher res satellite imaging uh, than Bing Maps does. You can actually see it loading out farther ahead of me as it, as I go. Well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll start doing some more uh, flight simulator content since we have some new planes coming out and then some really cool stuff updates in the near future. So uh, I hope to see you later.